Hey there, friends. Did you hear about the shooting that took place at the Texas State Fair this past weekend? Probably not a lot of you did. First, check out my friends at CMMG. Go to CMMG.com. You can use my discount code FTATF for a good discount over there. Again, my discount code is FTATF. Get some really cool stuff. One thing I recommend is a 22 conversion kits. I'm going to be doing a giveaway in conjunction with CMMG on the 22 conversion kits very, very soon. It's a cheap and expensive way to get some good training in without costing you a fortune in 5.56 ammo. So I highly recommend looking in their 22 conversion kits. Again, use my code FTATF to get a discount. Visit them at CMMG.com. Probably not a lot of you heard about this shooting at the Texas State Fair. And there's probably a few reasons, all political, that you did not hear about it. Three people were wounded and the shooter, 22-year-old Cameron Turner, was apprehended by police after fleeing the scene. According to Fox News, the shooting was the result of a dispute among people who were previously acquainted. Turner is claiming self-defense. A gang shooting. A conflict shooting. This is not a mass shooting. These are people who are mad at each other, either slinging dope women involved, guys involved, uh, disputes take place, there's a beef with one another, and they shoot at each other. Again, these are not your run-of-the-mill rampage killings that so many people fear because they are unpredictable. These types of shootings are predictable. So that's lesson number one, or reason number one, that the media doesn't want to talk about this one. Does it fit the narrative? Heck no, let's don't talk about this one. One of the other reasons why, from a story I found at The Truth About Guns, the electronic weapon detection system failed to catch the shooter's gun at the Texas State Fair. Now, the fair employs the open gate electromagnetic detection security system, and it's designed to detect firearms as fair goers enter. This is allegedly a groundbreaking system. Uh, they claim fast, automatic, and unprecedented screening. Uh, you don't have to unpack your baggage, and it's supposed to allow people to move through the line and the aisle a whole lot quicker so that you can process people a lot faster and get them into the fairground under the guise of safety. However, you can adjust the sensitivity on these, relatively speaking, six-foot poles on each side that a person has to walk through. According to the report, if you increase the sensitivity, you'll decrease the possibility of missing a weapon. However, the false alarms will increase significantly. Critics worry false alarms lead to alarm fatigue, leading operators to ignore the actual threats. They coined the term security theater to describe systems less effective than advertised, which may create a sense of security. We believe that in some cases installing weapons detectors is more of a political decision. You want to know what's also a political decision? This right here. The system that failed them here, that gave them a false sense of security, is the same as this. This gives people a false sense of security, but whenever the criminals ignore them, just like the criminal in this case who shot people and walked through this security system, he ignored that as well, and it did not go off because it's not effective at stopping. All it can do is detect. This doesn't stop either. This doesn't even detect. This certainly does not deter. There are some systems that are allowed to fail. This system is allowed to fail. People do not want to harden schools because it might create a prison effect. Ask the children if they would prefer a prison effect or if this makes them feel safe. This will not end well for you if you ask these children which they would prefer. This cute little sign or something that will actually deter people like locked doors and prevent preventing access to a facility. That's what you should be asking these children. But nobody wants to ask the kids because the kids are too stupid to figure out what their real safety should be, but they can pick a gender, right? Folks, in many cases, there are what I like to describe as acceptable failures. The wackos on the far left are willing to accept failure in many cases because they get to have plausible deniability. Oh, I didn't realize that was going to fail. See, we need to ban guns because this didn't work and your security system didn't work. So of course, the only other alternative is to ban people from having guns at the state fair or to ban guns altogether, right? That's what they jump to because they're willing to accept failure of some of these security systems out there because it will lead to their ultimate goal, which is banning things and banning you and I from having firearms. God save the queen, man. I'm sorry, I thought this was America. Please don't